Hello, my beautiful kings and queens. Today we have a very exciting video. As you can see by the title, we have the Sephora VIB sale haul. And if you want to see what I purchased, just keep on watching. Okay, guys, as you can see in the box behind me, I picked up quite a few goodies and I can't wait to share it with you guys. This year, I definitely did not do as much damage as I did last year and I'm glad I didn't. I'm trying not to purchase too much and I don't wear makeup every single day. So I'm trying not to purchase too much. So I tried to focus more on products I want to use on a more daily basis and you guys will see that, okay? So the first product I picked up sold out so quickly. It is the Tatcha Essence. I picked this up in store. I literally ran to the store to go get it after I placed my online order. I already started using this and guys, I have to say in the beginning, before purchasing it, I thought it was a gimmick because first of all, it's 90 five dollars and it looks like water that you just splash on your face however after using it and testing it out i really feel like off the rip like day one i noticed that my products absorb better into my skin and i feel like they're actually working helping clear up some pimples and acne just my skin feels like dewy and plump and more moisturized so if you could i really recommend picking this up Alright guys, the next product I picked up was a restock and it is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pore Tightening Toner. And I love this stuff. It makes my skin look so, so good. So hydrated. Very dewy. I'm all for a glowy look. I do not want to look matte. I do not want to look dry. I'm trying to open this to show you guys. I still have some left of my, the one I'm currently using, but... I need to make sure I have enough. The packaging's so cute. I just can't. Hey, Glow Gang. Oh, I love it. Anyways, this is what the product looks like. It's so beautiful. I love this product so much. It did take me a little while to get used to the watermelon scents. I'm not going to lie. I hate artificial scents like that. Pero, I really, really do enjoy this product. And I recommend getting it because it does tighten your pores. I see my pores shrinking. So, recommend. 10 out of 10. The next... Uh, skincare product I picked up is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Wild Oats Hydrating Toner. And I always double tone, so I wanted to pick this up as well. Summer's coming, and for me, I I always am in the sun, I feel. I hate being in the sun because I don't want to age, so I use a lot of sunscreen. But I feel like even though, you know, you think in the summer you're, like, sweating a lot, so your skin's not as hydrated. For me, it feels like my skin's just, like drying because i'm in the sun i don't know how to explain it so i try to use as much hydrating products as i can all the time so i wanted to try this out this has amazing reviews and i feel like no one's talking about it so i want to try it out and see what's all the review hype about next i picked up two hair care products i picked up the olaplex shampoo and conditioner if you guys saw my last haul i bought a shampoo and conditioner from ogx it's like a drugstore brand you could buy it at Ulta and it actually had really bad ingredients in it um one of the girls I follow on Instagram let me know that and I thought that was so sweet of her she let me know she told me like do my research basically and it had really bad ingredients that would make your hair fall out so I figured I would just stick to what I know and go with Olaplex and get their shampoo and conditioner I can't wait to try this Oh, guys, I forgot to show you guys one more skincare products I got. I got the Youth to the People 15% Vitamin C and Clean Caffeine Energy Serum. So I picked this up because I always incorporate vitamin C in my morning routines. So I wanted to try this one out. This has great reviews. It is a little bit pricey. I think it was like $68. I don't even know why I say these things out loud because it hurts my heart. But I use the Biosense one and I love it, but I thought I would try something else. So I've been trying this out and I do like it. It has like a weird scent though. It's not like I hate the scent, but it smells like, I don't know. It's a little bit nostalgic. You guys need to just like get it and try it and see how, what I'm talking about. But, I mean, it's working good so far. I'm not breaking out. I think this is the type of product you wait and see over time how it's going to help your skin. Because the claims on this is to firm your skin, get rid of hyperpigmentation, and even out your tone. So, I feel like I would have to use this for a while before I gave any, like, clear-cut answer. Like, oh, does this work? Okay, guys. So, I picked up one fragrance during the sale. And I got the Miss Dior perfume. Oh, this smells so good. 
I love my floral scents so, so, so much. And I just had to pick this up. It's so cute. I can't wait to put it in my perfume collection. Oh my God. It just smells expensive. Like I love this. It smells so good. The last few products I picked up in this order are makeup products. I didn't pick up too many because this summer I want to go for just a glowy, natural look. Nothing too crazy. As little makeup as possible, truly. So I picked up some products that I cannot wait to wear all summer long. I tried out as much as I could today on my face. So the first product I picked up is the Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. And I got mine in the shade 4.5 Neutral, if you're wondering. And this does have SPF in it, which I like. I do recommend using a SPF before this regardless because can you really trust foundation SPF? I don't know, but I love that it does have it. So that's just what it looks like. And I'm wearing it today on my skin and I think I look great. It's very lightweight, but it does have... Oh my God, I just got so scared. My window's open, so I hear everything that's happening outside. What are they saying? Okay, anyways, this is a very lightweight foundation, and I feel like it's a medium coverage. Definitely, definitely not full coverage, but this is good for the summer because it feels so light. It doesn't really feel like there's anything on your skin. I picked up the Fenty Beauty um, Ease Drop Tinted Moisturizer. Everyone's talking about this. Everyone's talking. I didn't watch any reviews, so I could try this out on my own and form my own opinion about it. But I saw that so many people are talking about it, so I had to pick it up. So I got mine in the shade 15. Um, in her foundation, I wear shade 350. So I just, they have this chart where you could figure out what color you are. So I got this. I swatched it on a piece of my cheek when I first got it in and it matches so it's good it looks a little different in the bottle but it's a frosted plastic um material so I can't wait to try this out and if you've tried it out let me know let me know in the comments what you think okay the next products I picked up I am wearing today on my skin as well and it's the tower 28 bronzino and this one is in the shade east oh best coast guys this is so pretty. So this is the packaging, clear packaging, very cute. It's this beautiful shimmery like bronzer. I love shimmery bronzer. I'm here for it. Let me just give you a really nice swatch. It's so pretty. I feel like how it looks on my hands versus my face is really different. Like on the skin, it looks so pretty and I feel like I picked the best shade for my skin tone. It gives a very healthy glow, I feel. A nice bronze look. I love this. I'm so, so, so happy I picked it up. And I really recommend you guys try this out if you're looking for a more natural look this summer. Glowy, shimmery, and just like, you know, very pretty. I would totally go for that. Okay, the next product I picked up is from Kosas. It's the Moisturizing Baked Bronzer. And this one is in deep. I got the darkest shade. Um, this is the packaging. Guys, this is so freaking pigmented. It's not even funny. Like, so pigmented. Oh my god. It's so, it's so buttery. It's so nice. Um, I used it today as well. And I love this. Be careful. Use a light hand for sure. Even with the brush, make sure you tap off the excess because I feel like this could get messy. But it's so good. I love very opaque pigmented products because you only need a little bit to go a long way. Oh my god, my stuff is rolling away. This is so, so beautiful. I've never used Kosas before today. And so far, I'm liking it. Let me know if you guys tried any other products from their line and let me know what to get. Okay, so I only have two more products, but the second to last product is the Sephora Lip Sleeping Mask, and this is in a strawberry flavor. Honestly, this was just at the checkout counter, and I just got it just because. It smells good. It, it does have that artificial scent. It reminds me of those lip glosses we used as kids. So, it was cute. It was only $5. <laughs> okay, so the last product I got, I wanted to save for last because this is what I was most excited about guys i got the gucci powder i'm not one to shop high-end makeup but as you can see today like 
I got a few things, like I got like a Dior foundation or whatever. But guys, oh my god, I had to get this. I saw this and I was like, oh. So I got the shade seven, and it comes in this cute little pink pouch, and then you take it out, and it's this a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pink top, and it has gold on the sides. And then this is how the inside looks. It just says Gucci. And then underneath, it has a powder puff. Very pretty, very luxe. Um, it does have fragrance. It smells like perfume, honestly, like luxury perfume. Um, it doesn't really bother me at all, even though I'm not the biggest fan of fragrance. Um, this might look light in the pan, but once I put it on my skin, it just melts right in. It's pretty... I like it so far. I did um, use it to help set my face earlier today. This is just a touch-up powder, though. Just keep that in mind. So $62, but it's just a touch-up powder. But I really do like it, and I'm really glad I got it. I wanted to try it. And this is in shade 7, just in case you're wondering. All right, guys. That wraps up my Sephora haul for this spring. Obviously, I can't wait to show you guys what else I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.